Time for a little tough love from a tough mom who wants to help you get your act together around the house. Barbara Reich is a home organization expert and author of Secrets of an Organized Mom, a guide to decluttering your home. Great to see you. Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. you're a bit of a drill sergeant. Is that a fair little, to say? Sure. No there. nonsense here. No nonsense. What's your overall philosophy about getting your house together? Don't leave it for later. Take care of whatever you can in the moment. So this is not a sentimental approach. Oh, no. Things go away quickly. Go. Okay, let's start with the daily mail. You don't believe in hanging on to much. The mail is like weeds growing in a garden. <laughs> if you do not take care of this, it will overrun your house. True. You need to spend two to three minutes a day, and it's done. Catalogs are the worst. Yep. Catalogs encourage you to buy things you don't need, and they waste your time looking at them. And if you're buying things you don't need, it's more clutter in your house. Lose, lose, lose. Immediately. Throw them right out the door. And let's face it, if you need something, you know where to get it. Right. You don't need a catalog. So to don't even you. sift through them. Just don't take that stack and put them in the garbage. Don't even okay. sift through. Okay, what about the things we do want to keep, though? So invitations are fun to get, but you have to respond in the moment. Look at your calendar. You're going, you're not going. Put it in your calendar and then respond and put it in an inbox. Okay. Now, this is the part where we may part ways. You say even with the young kids things that are sentimental to you that you want to hold on to forever, you got to lose that attitude and get rid of it. Yes. <laughs> okay. It feels good to get homework with a big smiley face sure. on top, the big 100%, the sticker. But you know what? Every child's going to learn how to read and write. You don't need the evidence. You will have storage bins full of third grade math homework, and no one's going to be interested in that. What about artwork, though? Your sweet five-year-old daughter, like I have, comes home. She made something special. I want to put it up on the wall. No? It's really not that special. It's not I mean, that when you special. really think about it, it's pasta glued to paper. It's buttons glued to paper. It's <laughs> okay. trade paper glued to paper. It's extra large paper. Wow. When, when a child does something like this, it's 3D, maybe they are a little bit more attached, take a picture. And then smash and then, it with a hammer in front of them. You don't have to be harmless. No. Okay, okay. But you can, when okay. they go to sleep, that's when you move the garbage out. Okay. And this, if you want to keep a few things, you just sort it in boxes like this. Is that right. the idea? Right. So what I would suggest is for each child getting a different color set of boxes. Okay. And the rule of thumb is really one box for every two to three years of school. Okay. So that gives you a guideline as to how much is appropriate to see. And you can get a lot of stuff in a box that size. All right, freebies. These are the things you come home from birthday parties with. Maybe you get something at work, a water bottle. Freebies are the junkiest junk of all. So they Freebies all go away. are not your friends. They all go away. They are not. I mean, the, the samples you take from a hotel, no one actually uses them. That's they true. just save them until they get so old that you have to throw That's them exactly away. That's exactly true. But you feel like you should take it because you're well, getting something free. You don't, you, most people feel that they have to take it, but you don't have you don't to have take to. it. But what about a trophy? I okay. earned that trophy. My kid earned that no, trophy. No, no, you're, you you're, don't put it up on a shelf? Your kid got this trophy for breathing. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving them to every kid on the team, and there's one here for attending a birthday party. It's a birthday party favor. <laughs> that you, you gotta really throw away. Save the trophy where your kid's the only one that got it, where it means something, where it's special. This is garbage. Okay, so don't. Okay, so keep the ones that they actually earn. All right, let's go into the kitchen now. Kitchens can be a mess. What do you do? Well. The kitchen is in a lot of homes, it's the command center of the house. So there's a lot of incentive to keeping it clutter free. And one of the things that takes up a lot of room are cookbooks. If your cookbook isn't worn, torn, stained, overused, you don't need it. Okay. You can get your recipes online and get store them online. them online. Okay, we only have a few seconds left, so I want to ask you quickly about the cereal boxes because this to you is... You do not need to replicate right. the selection in the grocery in the store, store right. in your home. You don't need 10 to 15 choices. Two to three suffices. It's a symptom of the larger problem. And it quickly, really is. I've got tons of these. Well, I don't know the what to do with The little black box stuff. of organizing. Yeah. They Stuffed come in animals. all different colors. They come in all different sizes. They can be used for so many different purposes. They're so versatile. Here, for example, I have a sports uniform. What many people do is they have the shorts in the short drawer, the socks with socks, the shirt with shirts. Put it all in one bin. It makes getting out of the house to that game or the practice so much faster. And if they come home with the trophy from that game, no, put it trophy, in the trash. I tell Get my kids, it. don't even take the trophy. Okay. Barbara Reese, you're tough, but I like you. Secrets of an Organized Mom is the book. Thanks, Thank Barbara. You. If you have a question for Barbara, go to today.com. She'll answer your questions right on our website.